Hello and welcome to my report by East Mojo. This is Simran Bajaj and I'll be giving you the latest updates from Assam. 11 people dressed in fake army uniform were picked up from near Guwahati airport on Monday night. The imposter army was arrested uh, during a police patrol around the airport area. Uh, a vehicle, se- uh, five motorcycles and fake ID cards was uh, was recovered from their possession. They are being present- presented before the Chief Judicial Magistrate in Guwahati today and police is seeking 7 days custody to interrogate them. In another news, uh, the elections for Tiva Autonomous Council has been announced. The council will go to uh, polls on uh, December 17 as announced by the state election commissioner and uh, all covid-19 protocols will be observed and counting for the um, elections will be held 2 days later on December 19 meanwhile boroland elections were also announced yesterday the region will go to polls on December 7th in the first phase and on December 10th in the second phase the counting for the votes will be done on December 12th and coming as a major relief for travelers from next week onwards the covid-19 tests will be conducted at guwahati airport instead of heading to horohojai stadium also for air travelers traveling within assam or within northeast it is no more mandatory to get the covid-19 test done that's the latest updates that we have from assam this is simran bajaj good evening this is princess rasha reporting for eastmojo.com from meghalaya The Meghalaya Education Department has announced that selection tests will not be carried out. The exams for the Higher Secondary School Leaving Certificate and the Secondary School Leaving Certificate will be carried out next year in the month of March and April. The department has also informed that the dates for these exams will be finalized by the Meghalaya uh, Board of School Education. For more details, you can always check out eastmojo.com under the Meghalaya section. Now in another development uh, Shillong Times editor Patricia Mukim has uh, resigned from the uh, Editors Guild of India she has submitted her resignation on November 16th addressing to uh, president of Ed- uh, Ed- uh, Editors Guild of India that is Seema Mustafa uh, Patricia Mukim has cited that the guild has deliberately ignored her plea to uh, concerning the recent order of the Meghalaya High Court uh, refusing to quash a police complaint against her for her facebook post dated july 3rd incident at laos otton shillong for more details please log on to the website this is all from meghalaya hello and welcome to my report by east mojo this is simran bajaj and i'll be giving you the latest updates from tripura in a major development in tripura's political landscape The elections for Tripura Tribal Area Autonomous District Council has been extended for further 6 months. This comes amid uh, renewed fear for COVID-19. Earlier this month, Indigenous People Front of Tripura had threatened its ally BJP that it will quit the alliance if they are not given 22 of the 28 contesting seats. While CPIM has criticized this postponement of election, IPFT is yet to react. In the second update the local administration has imposed section 144 to keep law and order in check in the wake of indefinite strike called by joint movement committee in Kanchenpur subdivision protesting against the rehabilitation of displaced group on Tuesday a 36 year old water supply operator was attacked by a group of miscreants in Purba Lakshmipur area which escalated the tensions between the two group The joint, move, uh, the joint movement committee, consisting of Bengalis and Mizo organizations, have called for for an uh, indefinite strike from Monday, alleging breach of promise by the Tripura government in resettlement of Bru migrants in Kanchenpur subdivision. That's the latest updates from Tripura. This is Simran Bajaj.